All right, center console's in. It's pretty sturdy. Six and a half inch audio pipe TXX BDC4 in it. I need to clean it up. Looks like I got a little bit of crap on it there. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna sit off in here. Boom. I got room. Shifter shifts. Reverse hits it a little bit, but it's in gear. As long as it gets in gear, that's what matters. It stays off it. Mm hmm. Got my little, you know, my cup holders, and boom. When they're not there, I can lay my arm up on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up? You know. Fresh little alligator skin wrap. Uh -huh. Like that. I think it matches the interior pretty good. Got to get my amp in there. And I've got enough material that I'm going to clean them up. I got two eights behind the seats. Clean them up, make them look better, and wrap them in that same material. And I'm going to mount my amplifier right up there between the seats gonna be a alpine mrp 350 i'm gonna feed uh 300 watts to this sub it's rated 250 after box rise it should be just fine yeah get me some rcas still i just wanted to get the yeah but that's the center console build for the six and a half for the truck. I wanted to do a T-line, but unfortunately, the T-line, the box was twice as tall, and the shifter hit it. You couldn't shift. So, which is crazy because, man, I just brought that up another four inches to make it level. Oh, come on and focus, piece of junk. But, uh, yeah, um, the back's held. Well, you can't see it now with a, bra a L bracket and nut and bolt. In the front, it's old CB clip. And uh, I put a washer and a nut, a screw to give it something to clip onto. And it can't go really very far at all. Maybe one day I'll find a better way to mount it, but for right now, that's going to work just fine. And to take it out, you just, I ain't going to tell nobody how to do that. But, yeah, <laughs> till later, peace.